Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership. Three string, cigar, box, guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Soul of a Man, Blind Willie Johnson. And uh, there are 25 versions of this by all kinds of tremendous artists from Susan Denchetti to... Uh, yeah, it just runs the gamut of great musicians that have covered this wonderful old gospel tune, gospel-ish tune, blues tune. And uh, so take a look and take a deep dive into all of the different versions of this song. It's, it's really, really great. What I tried to do with my companion video is show you how I interpret it. So this is the Uncle Mark interpretation. This is the lesson for the Uncle Mark interpretation of this song. And uh, so just all that aside, I just wanted to let you know. Also, in case you're wondering... You have somebody that needs a Christmas present. These are great Christmas presents. The Learn to Sing and Play book by me and Tess Core. Um, we want you to learn to sing and play. And these, the way to learn to sing and play is to open up a songbook, just play songs and start singing. It, it truly is the way. And uh, you'll find a lot of tunes on there you like. So I'm going to play a little bit of this. I'm going to do it the swampy way into the kind of a rocky way. And, you know, that's how I did it in my companion video. So let me show you a couple of lyrics, and then we'll go right into the song. So I've been talking too much, and I'm sorry. So uh, here we go. <laughs> having wound guitar strings. I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube and I'll show you those settings, especially the tremolo setting that I'm using. Tremolo is the helicopter-y type uh, effect that I'm using for this. It gives it a very swampy feel, which is kind of what I was looking for. So, this song has just a few notes in it. You're going to be using this open G as a drone. Decided you could just play this song just like this. Anybody tell me, answer if you can. Won't somebody tell me what is the soul of a man? You could play this song just like that, but what did I just do? Okay, so I strum through three strings. Then I come back to this high G string, put my finger on, my first finger on this third fret, and I go open, D string, open. caveats. I play this thing a little different every time. Sometimes I go and I skip that open. And it's just kind of the way I play. If you play this little riff long enough, if you play 
play this riff long enough, you will definitely start fooling around with it and decide maybe there's a note that I don't like. That works. That works. You know, this is kind of interpretation and the way the blues works is we basically stand on the shoulders of giants. They have done many, many different interpretations throughout the years and frankly throughout the centuries. And these cats, they did it every which way you can imagine. And sometimes we only hear that one way and we go, oh yeah, that's brilliant. But we didn't hear the nine or ten incantations behind it. So this has been done like this. So play with this little B flat G, F, D, B flat G. So it's a question of time. How much time do you want to put in this little section and you decide. That's, that's your decision. So the other notes I'm using, B flat, C, and then I slide up to the D. So I want you to think of your fingers like so. So you're going to play all of the notes in that third fret area with your first finger aiming for the center. You're going to play every note in this fifth fret with your third finger aiming for the center. You're always aiming for the center. So you're a little shallow or you're a little tight on the fret, that's fine, but you're aiming for the center. Then you're going to slide up to D and you're going to slide back to C if you need it. So this is how I want you to think. You're moving your hand. So. I don't leave the fretboard and come down on this. I slide up the string. Sometimes I slide up with noise. Sometimes I slide up with two notes, but I'm always staying on the string. So stay on the strings. The minute you leave strings, you have to look. And that takes you away from the lyrics, takes you away from the audience. It takes you away, and now you have to refocus, and it's very easy to forget lyrics or forget where you are the minute you have to start looking. So stay on the fretboard. As you get better and better, you'll find that you can lift away for moments, and you'll see me do that a lot, but I am very experienced. So as you get more experience, you'll be able to lift away. But as you start, stay on the strings. You don't necessarily have to play the frets, but stay on the strings. So I sing it and play it at the same time. And this is a great, a great thing for you to start doing. So start humming. <laughs> the notes. Da, 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 da. So start learning to verbalize the notes. So what I did with this tune was I played it soft and chill, played it really hard, and then ended soft and chill. And how I did that on the companion video was using pedals. But in this lesson, I want to show you how to use your volume knob. Some of you have a volume knob here. Some of you have volume knobs here. This is the preferred placement for me. Is down here where my pinky can grab it and I can still play. So what I did was is I turned up the gain in the guitar all the way up. So we're all the way up. And then I backed off the volume until it's off and then came up just a little. See how easy it is for me to get to that volume knob? For you builders out there, this is tremendous. Okay? Coming to here, now I got a pick in my hand and I got to turn. It's, well, for me, it's no good, but, you know, for some people, it's easier. So it's up to how you play. 
and up to the way you like to do things. But I like having knobs right here, and that's me. So what I did was, is I went through the... The signal is, when it's low, is signal is really low going into the amp. When you turn up your volume knob, that signal is really hot going into the amp, and it cranks it. And then when you back off on the volume knob, you back off on that signal. So you can get two different tones using your volume knob, and it's a really wonderful tool. So I want you to know that this song is super great for beginners, especially those who are just learning how to vocalize. And so I want you to learn to vocalize while you play. This is, uh, it's actually very important for you to start doing this because hearing the notes, even if you're never going to sing, if you can vocalize the notes, you can anticipate notes with your ears prior to playing them so that you are playing an anticipatory game as opposed to relying on guesswork and touch. It's, it's really, it's a game changer for you guys. So uh, I wanted to show you my settings here. And uh, so I'm still plugged in and these are my settings. So uh, my gain is straight up, my tone is three quarters, and my uh, amp type is the Brit Combo. I've got a little bit of reverb, and my tremolo is right all the way on. So tremolo all the way on, I really like that. And uh, it really works well for this tune. I, I like that swampy effect. It's Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you for everything you do for me. Really, really thank you. We are coming up on four-year anniversary, and it's all because of you. I am still here doing this because of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We're a 100% donation channel. We always have been. We don't take any money from Google, advertisers, nobody. So you are the ones that make this happen. So thank you so much for everything you do. I've got PayPal and Square links down below. And uh, if you feel like supporting, it's really, really necessary. Um, this time of the year, we're coming into needing heat and all of those things in the mothership. So it really, really helps with the electric bill, with the insurance, things you don't think about that you help me handle. You know, um, you don't think about electricity and insurance and all of these little things, batteries for the Roland and, you know, all of these things that come into play. So thank you for everything you do for me. If you're thinking about Christmas gifts for people, here you go. If that, that wife or partner or somebody thinking about Christmas gifts, these are great, great Christmas gifts. Um, we have t-shirts on the site with links down below, just numerous links, uh, gear and everything I use in here. The links are down below so you can see exactly what it is. The guitars, the shovels, everything I use is down below in a link. So take a look at those. I really appreciate everything you do for me. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks a bunch and we'll see ya. <laughs>